creating stunning professional quality images with just a few clicks, all for free. In today's video, we're diving into the power of illustrious XLV 2.0, the ultimate AI image generator that's taking the art world by storm. Get ready to unlock endless creative possibilities with tensor art and transform your ideas into breathtaking visuals. No cost, just pure innovation. Stay tuned to discover how you can use this game-changing tool to elevate your projects. Let's get started. This is the Tensor Art homepage, and I'll include the link in the description below. If you're new to Tensor Art, simply visit the site and create an account. Once you're logged in, you'll have access to a wide range of image generation models and Laura from their extensive library. Here are Illustrious XL version 2.0 Pro and Illustrious XL version 2.0 Base. For this video, I'll be using the Illustrious XL version 2.0 model. Meanwhile, Illustrious XL version 2.0 Base we'll discuss later. Here is the interface for the Illustrious XL version 2.0. This checkpoint model is capable of generating stunning anime images with optimized hyperparameters for enhanced stability. It offers slightly improved character understanding and is exclusively available on TensorArt. Now, let's take a closer look at this model. On the right, you'll see the option to interact with the model, similar to a ChatGPT-style conversation, where it generates images based on your input. Let's create an image of a young girl painting a rainbow in the sky with her magical brush. After entering your prompt, click on the Settings icon. Here, you can adjust options like the aspect ratio, the number of images you'd like, and even upscale the image immediately after it's generated. Once you've made all your selections, hit the Send button. Then, be patient, as it will take a little time to generate the image. Here are the generated images. Just look at the incredible quality. They're truly amazing. If you need any customizations, you can simply ask the bot to make adjustments. For example, if you want these images in an anime slice of life style, just type, generate this image in anime slice of life style, and voila, the image is transformed into the requested style. Here it is, the image in anime slice of life. Style is ready. Using the same method, you can create or manipulate images with the bot. On the right side of the image, you'll see all the technical details of the generated image. TensorArt takes your simple conversation and converts it into a detailed prompt, then adds the negative prompts. After that, it adjusts settings like size, seed, model steps, sampler, case sampler, schedule, and other advanced options. All of these can be fine-tuned using the Advanced Image Generator interface. To access the Advanced Image Generator, simply close the image and click on the Run button. This will redirect you to the Tensor Art Creation interface. Here, you'll receive some recommended words for your negative prompt to help you achieve the best results. I'll click Use Recommended to apply those keywords. Now, welcome to the Tensor Art AI Generation Interface. This is where all the magic happens. As you can see, we have several features available, including text to image, image to image, text to video, and image to video. That's why I mentioned that you can perform all sorts of generation tasks with this powerful tool. As you can see, the illustrious XLV 2.0 image generator model is selected by default. If you click on it, you'll have access to a wide range of other AI models. The options are limitless, Flux.1, Collars, Stable Diffusion 3, SD3, Hun Yuan DIT, SD3, Universe Real Cartoon Special, Shuttle Jaguar, Sim Pony World, Skyreels V1, Anime Style, Realistic Style, Gaming Characters, 3D, and much more. Once you choose the checkpoint or base model, you can further enhance your style or character by adding a Laura model. Next, we have the Control Net options. Here you can configure various control nets such as open pose, QR code, canny, depth, scribble, tile reference, tile, and others. Moving on, you can add embeddings like Asian Grin MD2, Red Lips GW, Beyond SDXL Negative V2, PA7XL Portrait Tools, Pony PDXL Negative, and more to further refine your image. Then, there's the VAE, Variational Auto Encoder, which influences the color performance of the image. I recommend setting it to automatic for optimal results. In the settings section, you can adjust the aspect ratio, sampling method, sampling steps, scheduler, CFG scale, and seed options based on your preferences. Lastly, under advanced settings, you have the ability to tweak clip skip and ENSD for even finer control. Next, we have the upscale option. This feature allows you to enhance the resolution of your image after generating the base image. 
You can adjust settings like higher steps and denoising strength to fine-tune the upscaling process. After that, we have the AD Tailor feature, which is an optimal solution for fixing facial collapse and improving hand deformities to some extent. Here you'll need to choose the appropriate model. There are several options, including face, hand, person, and media pipe. For this example, I'll select the face model. You can enter a detailed prompt and a negative prompt along with any other settings you'd like to adjust. If you wish to generate an image with a transparent background, simply turn on the layer diffusion feature from here. Now that our settings are configured, let's move to the prompt box. This is where you'll input the description of the image you want to generate. I'll paste a ready-made prompt here. Next, we have the negative prompt section. Since we've already used the recommended negative prompts, I won't make any changes. You'll also find other settings, such as translating the prompt using a random prompt or enhancing a poorly written prompt. Next, we have the A1111 option. You can also enable the TAMS 2.0 engine, which uses the TAMS 2.0 parsing method by default. Selecting this option activates the A1111 web UI parsing mode. Note that some syntax, such as AND, break, etc., may not work. You can even compress it into ELLA for more efficiency. Now set the number of images you want to generate. Once everything is configured, hit the generate button and wait for the process to complete. And here it is. Your images are ready. Just look at the quality of these images. They are absolutely stunning. You might notice some minor issues with the images. To fix these, we can use the AD Tailor tool. First, select the images you want to enhance. Next, click on the Edit Image icon. You'll see several available tools. Simply choose the After Detailer tool. From there, select the AD Tailor model. For this example, I'll select the Face model. Now you can add prompts and other settings as needed. Once you're done, click the Generate button and voila, your image is ready. Take a look at the improved quality. The image is now more detailed, and any issues have been addressed using the AD Tailor tool. Additionally, you can use the InPaint feature to customize any part of your image, like this. Using this method, you can create stunning anime-style images with the illustrious XL V2.0 model. Just look at this image. It's amazing! I added some LoRa models to achieve these results. You can even train your own LoRa model to create a more precise style, and I'll cover that in the next video. Now that we've generated images with the Illustrious 2.0 Pro version, I want to create a few images using the Illustrious 2.0 base model. This will give you a clear comparison between the Illustrious 2.0 base and Pro versions, so you can see the difference in quality. Now, let's go to the Tensor Art Model interface and select the Illustrious 2.0 base model. Click the Run button. I'll copy the same prompt we used in the Illustrious 2.0 Pro and paste it into the prompt box. I'm just setting the aspect ratio, while the rest of the settings remain default. After that, hit the Generate button. Here are the results from Illustrious 2.0 Base. Now, let's compare them with the results from Illustrious 2.0 Pro. You can clearly see the difference. I'll show you the rest of the results after the generations are complete. In my opinion, the Illustrious 2.0 Pro results are more satisfying. Now, you have access to the exclusive image generation model on TensorArt, but this is just the beginning. You can generate any type of image on TensorArt. The platform offers you free credits daily, and if you need more, you can purchase a pro plan for enhanced access and higher quality results. So don't forget to give this tool a try. The link will be in the description. All right, friends, I'll wrap up the video here. Before I go, I'd love to hear your thoughts on TensorArt. Feel free to share your opinions and results in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. If you're curious about how to create consistent AI characters for free with Google Image, FX Best Free AI Image Generator, click on the video on the left. If you're ready to watch how I found the most realistic AI voice cloning tool in 2025, click on the video on the right. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Happy Learnify AI goodbye.